I went from a 2.7 GPA to a 4.0 student. It was my first ever 4.0 that I ever got in my life. And so unless you've been in my room, you don't know what this note says. And I still keep it because first time ever, you and I are going to, you know, check out the diploma. Oh man, I have been looking forward for this vlog, baby. What is going on with baby family? Welcome back to the vlog. We're gonna continue on with the journey today. I'm excited. I'm really excited to be honest with you. I've been looking forward to making this video for a long, long time, but you know, it's a process, it's a journey. I'm really excited to share this with you because this is what got me admitted into dental school and there was a huge stepping stone to achieve my goal. And it was crazy because I got home from work and guess what came in the mail? My degree from a master's program, my diploma came in the mail. So I'm gonna open these with you guys on the video. I wanted to share it with you. And I'm also gonna talk about the master's program and the benefits of taking a master's. And we'll go from there. We're always in there, baby. Never forget it. Let's go. I graduated undergrad 2017. When I graduated, a good friend of mine who just got accepted to Tufts Dental School called me and he was like, Omid, go apply to Barry's Biomedical Master's Program. And I was like, Nah, like I don't need a master's, I don't want to do a post back. I'm just going to take my DAT and I'll just take it from there. I'm going to apply this cycle and if I get in, great. And if I don't, I'll go from there. So I wasn't really about the master's life or the post back program whatsoever. So fast forward, summer of 2019, I've taken my DAT twice at this point. My GPA sucks, my DAT scores suck. And uh, at this point, I'm like, okay, what do I do? So I just end up going to dinner with one of my good friends who was at Maryland Dental. We we're having dinner and he's like, oh me, there's a program called Barry's Biomedical Science Program and a girl in my class, you know, she's from there. She went into that program and she got in to Maryland, blah, blah, blah. blah. And I was like, all right, this, this is meant to be. Like, there's no way two completely different people are telling me to do the exact same thing. You guys Google Barry's Biomedical Science Program. It's literally on paper the number one biomedical science program in the nation. And it has a huge success rate for students who are pre-dental, pre-med, pre-optometry, pre-PA who go into professional schools. So it has a great reputation with great academics and literally on paper, it's the number one biomedical program in the nation. So I'm looking at all this online, I'm like, bruh. There's no way, like, I meet these stats. I have a 2.7 GPA, I got a 15 DAT. But I applied anyways. I was like, you know what, I'm a very optimistic guy. Guys, I applied to the master's program summer of 2018, and I was waitlisted. I was waitlisted for the program. I'm calling the admissions office. I'm like, listen, I'm, like, I'm dedicated, I'm ready, I'm gonna give it my all. Like, if you accept me, you won't then regret it. I promise you that much. Um, I know my <laughs> academics don't really show that right now. August 2nd, and I was in my car. Kid you not, God be my witness. I was like, God, if it's not meant for me to become a dentist, I'm 22 years old, you know, this is all I've ever wanted. If I'm not supposed to be a dentist, please reject me from this program so I can pursue something else in my life. I was at a red light. I checked my phone, kid you not. Three seconds later, I go on my email, my phone, check my phone at the red light. All I see is the word congratulations with my student ID number. <laughs> I clicked the thing, I was like, this, there's no way. There is no way this is real. I got accepted to the program. God given blessings, a God given gift, and I'm gonna take full advantage of it. And my mentality totally changed at this moment. In undergrad, I was all over the place and mostly in the wrong place. The moment I got my acceptance letter, I was like, all right, nothing happens by accident. This is a God given gift to me, and I have to take full advantage of it. So when I went down to Miami, I was like, I wasn't playing games, okay? My mentality was, Omid, you gotta do whatever it takes to become successful and get A's. You need to get A's, you need to get the best grades possible. And I'm not gonna lie, my first semester I looked at my schedule, I was like, anatomy with health law and ethics? I was like, bruh, I heard awful things about anatomy. Like, listen, I didn't know that this, when I saw the schedule, it was classes that I've never taken before and I was terrified. And coming from a 2.7 GPA, like, you know, like <laughs> you're about to go take these upper level science classes and they took a chance on me by accepting me. I have to deliver, like I had to deliver. I had a lot of pressure, but I love pressure. 
I love to be in uncomfortable situations because that's where me personally, I thrive the most. I gotta do what it takes to get the best grades possible. I have to work hard, I gotta stay focused, and I need to be dedicated at my craft. I gotta be in my academics fully and give it my all. That was it. It was a go-getter mentality. I'm either gonna be at the top or I'm gonna fail. That's it. I cannot afford to get bad grades because my GPA is already bad for what it was already. So I need to go and get good grades to show down schools that I am capable of taking upper level science classes and I am capable and will be successful if admitted into dental school. This, because it's a reminder of where I've been and how far I've come and I'm always hungry for more. I am never ever satisfied. Everything I have is thanks to God and a lot of hard work and this is a reminder to me of the position that I was about two years ago at this point. And I hope it motivates you and inspires you to keep on pushing and keep on working towards your dreams. So I'm gonna share with you guys for the very first time. I started off by saying work harder than anyone in the room, followed by one of my favorite quotes by Denzel Washington. Ease is a greater threat to success than hardship. And next I said don't leave today's tasks for tomorrow. And finally I said main goal before age 30, become a dentist, Dr. Omid, go work for it, go get it. Put that bang bang into my wall, but right outside my door, and I saw this every single day, never took it down until the day I moved out and when I got accepted to dental school. Master's programs are great. Even if you have a good GPA, to do a master's program, I highly recommend it because it academically matures you and gets you ready for that next level. It puts you ahead of the curve, especially when you go into dental school D1 year, Listen, you're already ahead of the game, right? So you can get better grades and be more competitive in case you want to continue on your education by doing a specialty. My diploma actually came in, but I didn't open it yet. The first time ever, you and I are going to, you know, check out the diploma. And there we have it, baby. It's official. We're always in there, never forget it. All worth it, man, let's get it. So the semester blows by and Pamela, who's the head of admissions who accepted me, calls me into her office and I never forget this conversation. And she was like, Omid, I just wanted to say that when we accepted you into our program, you were the second to lowest applicant. And now you're in the top five of your class, so keep it up. And I'm sharing that story with you guys because I came from such a weak academic background and now I was fully focused, fully engaged the task at hand because I knew that this was the last opportunity for me to prove myself, to show that I am capable of being successful academically and I wasn't gonna fall short. So I gave it my all and the results showed. It was my first ever 4.0 that I ever got in my life and I'm telling you, now, once I got that 4.0, it was addicting. I wanted it again and again. I'm gonna continue this. I'm gonna continue getting all A's in all my classes. You know, I did wanna go straight into dental school because I'm just that kind of personality. Like, I'm always a go-getter. I want things quick, I want them now. A weak GPA, my low DAT scores, I had to figure out a different way, you know? At first, I never wanted to do a master's. I didn't even want to take a gap year. I didn't want to do any of these things. You know, things happen. It hasn't been easy. I've cried a lot, I've been frustrated a lot, I've had very long nights, a lot of hard works, missed a lot of events, missed this and that, but it's okay, it's all worth it, and I never stopped, I kept on going, and the only thing that kept on pushing me was myself. If you're not self-motivated, nothing external can motivate you, you need to have that love from within to keep you pushing, and that's exactly what was pushing me, my love for dentistry, my love to accomplish my goals and dreams. At the end of the day, you only got yourself. You gotta carry yourself, all right? And this path has not been easy. I would not have it any other way. Everything happened for a reason. It got me to this point where I am today, and it all happened at perfect timing. I'm gonna leave you guys off with this one note, okay? Getting a master's was the best decision that I ever made in my life. It got me to where I am today. And I'm so happy things played out the way they did because if they didn't, I wouldn't be in this position right now. I'm gonna end the video with this note. I walked into my administrator's office at Barry and 
I was frustrated because I was waiting and waiting for dental schools to respond for an interview and I wasn't hearing back. You know, I've got the grades, I put the DAT score in, you know, I got everything that I needed, I risked everything, I put everything on the line, I moved states, I, you know, I couldn't give anything more, I've done everything and at this point it wasn't in my hands and I never forget, his name is Robert, what Robert told me. Robert told me, Omid, just because things aren't happening on your time doesn't mean that they won't happen. You gotta be patient, you gotta be patient and whatever is meant to be at the moment that it's meant to occur, it will happen. Just because it's not happening in your time doesn't mean that it's not gonna happen at the right time. You can do this, you can do it. That's why I'm sharing this story with you. Because there are people that have struggled early on, like me. And I navigated my way, I found different options, and this is what worked for me. And I'm telling you, if it worked for me, apply a lot of hard work and you give it your all, you too can accomplish your dreams, whatever they may be. You guys, I hope you got a different perspective on getting a master's and the benefits of a master's degree. It helped me tremendously. I loved it. I'm so thankful of doing it. It was the best two years of my life and I got the best grades of my life. I went from 2.7 to a 4.0 student, man. I learned how to study. My dream of getting accepted into dental school was accomplished because of getting my master's. I learned so much about myself, time management, level of focus, level of time that I need to dedicate to achieve the best grades. And I became academically mature enough to take on dental school. With that being said, guys, we're always in there, baby. Never forget it. Love y'all. Peace.